Good day, everybody. That's Kevin Quality over there. I'm Vince Bodo, and this is a playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Well, I um, feel like we've been moving uh, super fast. <laughs> I think I've been, uh, you know, there's uh, been a whirlwind of bosses, right? Like ever since the dancer, starting with the dancer anyway, I mean, there's been really boss after boss after boss, right? So we, I guess, dispensed with the Dragon Slayer the last time, and uh, did we, you know what, I think we got to get to see what we can get with, um, did we already do this? I don't think so. I think uh, we got an axe. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, you're not the guy. <laughs> Here we go, we're not even going to look at him, watch. Ah, so Okay. So there's got to be some... Oh, there it is. There is the Soul of Dragon Slayer's armor. What else can you get for it? Oh, his shield, which would probably be really cool as well. You need 38 strength to wield. This one here is you just need 40 strength. Oh, I thought you needed faith. Hey, maybe we'll muck around with this when we're up there. I could probably use it double-handed now. But we got the sword. Everything is so tempting. So definitely get that. <laughs> Treat the firekeeper not to Okay, thank you. <laughs> So I was thinking of one other thing um, before. Let's see if we can find the hawk ring because that's something that's missing from my um, archer setup. So let's try to find it. I, I think, I, I mean, let's see if the, the I think that the, um, what do you call it? I don't want to kill that giant that helped us, but if he's dead, his ring would be up there. And maybe Egon's set is there too, right? I don't know. So let's try to figure this out. Is this the one or is this the one? I think it's Cliff Underside that I'm looking for. I mean, from here anyway, we would see if uh, the giant is alive or not. And also, we could probably run to where Egon is. Oh, you know, I could have went to the other bonfire. You know, the one where... Uh, what do you call it? After you kill that boreal knight, the first boreal knight, you know, it's there before you get into the swamp. I think that's one of the first areas right after the undead settlement, pretty sure. Oh, that was weird coming in. Did I go the right way? Yes, I did. Okay. Ooh, it looks all spooky here now, eh? I like how the, the sky's different. So is the giant there, I wonder. I'm not using those binoculars. See, I don't think so. And there's no... I think we're going to run up to him. Yeah, let's go try it. Probably going to die. Well, that wasn't good. <laughs> Already? Okay, maybe I'll just wait for these guys to go. I mean, there's no sense of really making myself, making it hard for me, right? Do I have the little knife? Um, Let's, what do we got here? Oh, I see. This is what we're going to be using, eh? Will the knife make a difference? Oh, I guess I haven't really finished setting up. We could, uh, we could set up later. No big deal. And uh, we don't need the Cat Covenant Ring. We're just being silly. It's okay. You know, heal up. Uh-oh. Uh oh. That didn't turn out at all. I think we'll check for uh, Godhard over there, or whatever his name is, after. But we'll just go up that ladder or the elevator this time. <laughs> Hopefully, it's the right one. We'll see. If it goes down. Ah! Oh, I couldn't get out. That's okay. Oh well. That was a bit of a disaster. Not, not too bad. I wonder if I'm still aggroed to those guys. See, we needed our buddy Ziggurat to figure this out for us. <laughs> I 
Oh, it's going to start changing. Because this would uh, really help us this ring. Oh, he's still here. Where is he? No, he died. Oh, that's his body, of course. Sad. Anyway, thanks for your help, buddy. I really appreciate it. I think I could just uh, iron out of here. <laughs> I could fragment out of here. Where should we go? Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Do we have to go to the bonfire for anything or to the shrine? Let's just go to the shrine and if I think of anything. It doesn't matter because we have to hop from bonfire to bonfire anyway. Right? Die tune poison mist. I don't remember last, I think the last episode, I felt like I did so, things like so fast and now I have to sort of catch up to myself, <laughs> right? So let's see what I got. Yeah, I do have Poison Mist and do I have my Pyromancy Flame? I do not. So let's put that on. All right, and we can muck around with the setup because we are going to have a little bit of time to uh, pass, to pass it, uh, shortly. And let me, uh, oh, you know, did I get, um, what do I got? I only have 16,000 souls, eh? Let's not, um, let's not squander them. Let's get some, some lightning, because I'd be, I'm liking the, the lightning resin and the dark and the human pine resin. So let's just get some more. Who cares? Uh, like I said, the armor sets and all that, we can get that later. It's, I always go the wrong way for this. How many can I get? Ooh, I can get a bunch. So, 10 of those. And let's Fashion get one. Beesh. Um, let's get some dark as well from patches. Don't you wish just we just had one? Even though they kind of streamlined the the merchants pretty good, right? They kind of put them all in one area. You don't have to uh, go through levels and all that to get to the, <laughs> you know to get to uh, merchants. <laughs> they did kind of tidy it up in a way, right? Oh yes, it's expensive, but oh, so well worth it. And so are these, actually. I think we're good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So we are going to bomb around on the Grand Archives, because I think that's where we are now. Right? It's been, like I said, it's been a whirlwind of bosses. And now, at least um, to finish the thought, now we're at the Grand Archives. And it's kind of like a big l level um, that has no bosses and we can it's a place that finally in a way i could explore you know because the the lothar castle the dragon barracks and the dragon slayer armor i guess that's just a you know these two are almost the same bonfire they you know this these two areas they're very beautiful and they're fun and everything but it just doesn't have the exploration vibe you know let me get a drink here So I know in passing we um, I talked about um, oh now I forgot what I was going to talk about <laughs> oh I talked about uh, what I was going to do next and um, so it turns out that this uh, this sorcerer here he he bugs you the whole the whole level um, but it, you do have a chance to eliminate him um, but it takes about three three tries right. And you can't destroy them right at the beginning. I mean, there might be people that can for sure, uh, but typically, let's say, or maybe not even that, but I, I can't kill them anyway. So I was watching um, some tips and things like that, and I came across uh, the Gay for Game guys. They, uh, they kind of they came up with this here. And uh, let's just not let's not die. So did I poison him? Yeah. So the poison does it, and he doesn't disappear or anything. You can just keep poisoning him. Cool, right? So as that's working, we'll uh, we'll try to figure out some cool armor to wear. Uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. At least we know that I know when to give him another shot.
<clears throat> and I think we need another Estes, Ash, uh, another Ashen Estes flask, which we already have equipped. I think that's. I need. I think you need one strip and another if you don't upgrade the uh, attunement slots, right? Um, what is this? This is the on the Black Knight armor. It's kind of cool looking, actually. You know, uh, I like it. But it's really a little bit heavy. Oh, this is the wow. What is this stuff here? This is the shadow garb. Cool. I think if you have toxic mist, if you went to, through the effort to get it. Oh, what's this? Over here. Okay. Uh, if you went through the trouble to get it, it. Um, this is kind of cool, eh? I think uh, I'm going to try it. I like it. Fashion source. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, that works for me. And now, for, oh, I think uh, let's uh, before we do the leggings, let's see if we can. Uh, okay, so <laughs> anyway, that's getting him. And the reason why I'm doing it is the reason why I I'm kind of cheesing him is because I want to go through the archives this time without that ham like that hindrance, you know. It's a great idea. And uh thank you Gay for Games for uh um you know, uh putting it out there in YouTube because I would have never thought of doing this really because I always would think just to attack them, right? So that's kind of kind of cool. Anyway, let's get some really cool leggings here because I think we could go pretty heavy as well. So I think I'm just going to go via the weight so when I come close, oh, 78. Oh, what are these here? Oh, the sunset leggings. That's kind of cool. You know, these look kind of cooler, I think. It's the brass leggings. Yeah, yeah, because it matches the, uh, the thing. Okay, let's get this guy here again. Oh, he's still, he's still, free. he's still cooking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, there's that set up. But uh, I am going to stop at the uh, bonfire after he goes. See, he has a lot of health, eh? It's crazy. But I know I know that we... Uh, I, I know that it might be boring, but really, like, watch when he it's done. That there's going to be so much peace... Did I poison him? Yes, I did it again. Eat that guy. You suck. <laughs> right, so <clears throat> so this is uh, what I'm thinking about, um, like, FirmSoft games uh, right now. I think they're amazing and everything. Uh, but uh, so my next, my next idea is to play Dark Souls 2 because I've sort of gained an appreciation for it. You know, the first time I played it, I didn't like the fact that it wasn't Dark Souls 1. Um, um, I don't know, maybe it's almost like I wasn't mature enough uh, in the genre, you know. I've never played anything before like that before. And my Dark Souls 1 experience was, oh, I have to do number 2, and I found it, you know, it was pretty cheap on uh, like an eBay rack, you know, and I figured I'd try it. And I kind of just ripped through it, and I didn't really finish it completely. I didn't have the, um, let's say, the... The desire to, to play the, the DLCs and also I didn't really want to buy it because it was I was verging on the Xbox one and um, I didn't want to buy it for the 360 because it's rather at the time it was a few years ago it was still rather expensive because you were buying the DLCs either in a pack or individually and individually it was very expensive and even in the pack it was kind of like 40 bucks or something like that so I figured okay forget it you know and I there just Dark Souls 3 came out and figured I'd start playing it again. But a lot of the things that I was missing out, let's say, in Dark Souls 3, oh, let's, uh, yeah, that poisoned him. 
I'm telling you guys, it's worth the wait. Like, you might think that that's t this is terrible, but uh, really, just chill, uh, and uh, you know, have a drink of uh, water. Like, I'm, no, actually, I have some coffee. Hang on. Yeah. So back to Dark Souls Three, I I started playing it, and a lot of the cool things, you know, in the mechanics of the game that I think are cool come from Dark Souls 2 and um, little by little I've sort of th I think to myself you know I didn't really give it credit because it was um, it done it, it was done in a different way uh, slightly but it was still Dark Souls you know it's still Dark Souls 2 and I missed out and I didn't open myself up to a lot of the new mechanics that were available to me which now I'm intrigued and want to explore so I was thinking about doing that right but there's also, see, I don't have that much time to play video games, really. So I can't take on too many games at once. And now at the same time, there is this Elden Ring that's supposed to come out this year. This is from FormSoft. From Soft, and I wanted to play it blind, right? So anyway, this is my dilemma. What I'm going to do, or not my dilemma, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably start Dark Souls 2, and then when Elden Ring comes out, I'll play it, and I don't know if I could play both at the same time. I probably might be able to, but I think that Dark Souls 2, hang on, let me poison this guy one more time. He's getting it. And the only way you can wreck this is by hitting him. Like that. So it's a good thing I have one more Estus Flask. And I could, um... I hope I got him there. I did, good. Okay. So I really have nothing to worry about. I could just... Th this this little pot here will save me from his, his arrow. Anyway, yeah. So where's his, uh, his life bar? There it is. This might be the last or the second last one. So it's, is it that bad? I don't know. I think it's only been a few minutes. Yeah, so I've, um, I think I'm going to play it. And that's, I, that's kind of like my, you know, since we, are, we have time here to talk, <laughs> that's my kind of uh, uh, my video game future, you know. And of course I'll record them because what does it take to record them while I play them anyway, right? I don't mind talking. <laughs> So yeah, like like Toxic Mist, um, it does that. Like it. Um, yeah. Speaking of that, um, not that. Okay, hang on. Let's. Oh, I better focus. But yeah, let's um, let's check out that that axe while we have time here. I can't see the the health bar. There it is. Let's check out that monster axe that we just got. Where the heck is it? <laughs> I, I know I missed it. I know you guys are probably screaming at me. But um, I know how it looks. Like it's it's super famous. It's super famous. How come you can't find? I cannot find. Goodbye and good riddance. So yeah. Thank you. Oh, let's go get the... Uh... Oh, did I already get it? Yeah. Cool, right? Yeah, let's go check out this. Um, where is this? Where is this axe, guys? How come we can't find? Oh, I went the wrong way. How come we kind of can't find it? I am not familiar with its icon. There it is. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there's the crystal scroll. I was wondering where it was. I thought it might have been a drop. And look, we got the crystal scroll and everything already. Like we're done, right? So cool. And maybe if you go buy uh, all the stuff from uh, Venham guy, he may be... Uh, what does this do? Okay, that's special art, I guess. Very cool. But if I keep it pushed or anything, it doesn't do anything. Oh. Okay, wow. That's amazing. Okay, let's, uh, let's stop fooling around, guys. Okay, sorry. Right, so 
Let's get our longsword back on. Okay, I think, uh, how are we doing for, for rings? Okay, so we have this, this, and this. I am happy with that. Uh, we don't have any arrows, so let's get some arrows on. And um, I think we're good for the setup. Let's see if we could screw it up. <laughs> okay, and, uh, oh, you know, do, I do want to be able to buff, so let me just uh, rest at the bonfire, because it doesn't matter. And we'll get uh, started a little bit with the... Duke's Archives. I mean, no, no, not the Duke's Archives. That's great. That's uh, Dark Souls 1. This is the Grand Archives. Right? And uh, I think I got the wrong weapon on. <laughs> okay, let's try this out because I have the rings to, to cause all sorts of damage. All right. Oh, that's not good. All right, that's cool, you know. So what I was thinking was, what I've, what I've done, and this is the way I've done it last time, is like, why don't we just fight this guy here? Because he's, um, no, I guess, I guess I can't. Where did he go? Maybe oh there he is. Oh, I think I missed him. He comes like right after you. Yep. I think I'm going to try to uh like where do you think he's going? It's a fun weapon to use, that's for sure. A large titanite chart. Very cool. All right. Okay, that was fun. See, he's kind of easier to, to fight down here, right? At least I think he is. All right, let's just keep the sword on for now. Because I have... I keep on changing all my stuff all the time. But maybe I should just test this. It doesn't matter. Oh, wrong one. I just ruined that. Well, that's okay. Nothing here. I, I kind of forgot this area, guys. So bear with me while I get my bearings. Now, yeah, so this is where that item was and where we fought the boss. Not the boss, but the knight. There's probably some drop down guys. I remember that. This is very cool level, isn't it? Surprised that I haven't seen one of these guys yet, though. Macho just drop on me. I think I just did a loop. Okay, so that's not clearly not the way. And either is this. I think I'm lost already. All right. Okay, let me find the proper way. So this is where we are. I think maybe I'll go this way. This is probably the way. Or maybe this is where I came. No, this is right. Okay, so now I can either go down or this way. Let's go this way. See what's here for us. See what's waiting for us. Okay, I think there's a drop down here. All right, very cool. I think the plus save is fine. And I, I do like the, uh, oh, uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to change, that's okay, you know what? Maybe we'll do a little bit of, uh,
lightning damage for fun. We're always buying the stuff anyway. So I think I have multiple enemies coming. Right there, so let's buff up. And see what kind of trouble we can get into. That wasn't a good start. Whoa. It's really cool wielding something that has like double uh, double lightning damage. And it's fairly fast as well. Which is really cool. Well look at how he fell. <laughs> yeah, these guys, right? Very, very interesting. I, what I was trying to say was, when I stopped at the bonfire, what I wanted to do was to add the uh, the Carthus Rouge, right? I think, did I get it? I must have. And see, this is where the knight, not in here. Actually, this is kind of neat. Oh, this is where the knight is, yeah. He would have been in here, and we would have had to fight him in this little area here. So I figured, why not? Like, they give us this little area kind of probably to, you're getting chunks, eh? That's good. Probably to aggro him from there in the first place, right? Crystal Chime. And look how quiet this place is without that mage spraying stuff all over you while you're walking around. It's nice, right? It's a good idea. It was a, it was a great idea. And I'm going to adopt it. Because there's no skill in avoiding that thing all the time. <laughs> it just gets to you. And I get why you do it, right? I mean, it's totally cool. Oh, I push the wrong button all the time when it comes to this, these things. I think I cleared out that area pretty good. I think it's all there. Or all done. And here I think there isn't really enemies, but there's sort of like... Um, oh my gosh. That just took forever. Wow, but we got a lot though from it. I kind of went nuts on it. It's kind of dark here, isn't it? Like on my screen, I can see it pretty good actually this time around. <laughs> I'm enjoying using this sword. It's fun. Um, wow, so we got a, a soul of a nameless soldier. I believe we got that before. And inside this room, when I hit that lever and open up that secret door, let's say, I got power within. And I guess it's not as good as it used to be. I don't know. I really don't. I've never really enjoyed using it, to tell you the truth. And this is a witch's locks, which is a whip, which is pretty cool. Apparently, it's very good for a whip anyway. Anyway, sorry. I like the animation. The, uh, I read that it's like the, I guess, a bastard sword, uh, I suppose. Has that move set, right? We'll just reset the timer on the, uh, on the wax. So I don't have to worry about it too much. And uh, what are we doing for... Uh, Estus. We're doing 10 Estus. That's not too bad. I think we'll be okay. And we also make Innovated too because this is a it, it definitely a PvP spot, right? 
I think there's an item here for us. A little scoundrel got us. There's another guy here. And they're rather resistant, which is pretty cool in a way, but, you know. Oh, I got an Estes, so that's fantastic. Okay, I think, um, like, I get a lot of magic damage, so I was thinking that we could, uh, I wanted to use the fire, really, but I can't. So we're going to use a different ring for now. Um, what do I have? Okay, I, I think um, the stamina ring, because maybe they have, maybe it will work, I don't know. Let's give it a try. Because I, I could, um, I, I'm getting magic damage, but they, I don't think they take a lot of damage from magic. So why should I emphasize it, right? See, so right now I'd be getting, oh, I already lost my, uh, my wax, eh? Did I do something to lose the wax? I don't know. I wonder if um, Grey Rat's ashes are there. I think we could see if I screw around the... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. It looks like it though, isn't it? Doesn't it? It has the glow, but it can't be for certain. So anyway, let's try... Oh, there's a... Okay, you know what? Let's go get some wax, guys, because I'm a little bit paranoid with the wax. And see, I'm, I don't want to take dam damage for no reason. And it's just over here anyway. Maybe, maybe not? Yeah, here it is. The red light kind of psyched me out. And there's no real, you know, time limit to how long it takes to finish like an area or whatever, you know? And that's something that I'm not saying that really as a tip, but for every, like for me, but for everybody, uh, how do you say it? It's merely a tip for, for me too, because I guess it's saying that it's, it, there's no need to be impatient, let's say, you know? Um, th there's no time limit for this. So I always get caught with that, especially with the bosses, you know. I think that's the, uh, I think there's a shortcut here, right? Isn't there? Yeah. I knew I missed something. So that's good, right? You guys are screaming at me for that one, weren't you? So... We have some enemies here, and I think that we have the, uh, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Look, guys, you might as well do things as they come in this level, because uh, backtracking is always uh, worse when you're, when you have everything respawn. You know what I mean? So it's better just to go get the stuff. Like, look how quick this was. Really, and uh, I'm getting a little bit of lag, too, by the way. I get that. I got that too the last time. I think it's like an Xbox One thing. So this is a slab. Yet another slab, guys. We're gonna get be getting another one too soon. So there's another Titanite slab. Fantastic. That's one thing that this this game did right was it gave you a lot of a lot of Titanite slabs, you know. Because in, I know in one anyway, getting a slab or to farming for a slab was really difficult. It took a long time. You know, you got a lot of chunks too. And we had to farm for chunks, right? Don't forget. But the, the consequences of farming for chunks though was that you might get a Titanite slab. And then of course the Great Hollow, right? All right, this is not gonna be the greatest here, but this is pretty much a gauntlet here. All right. And this guy It 
it's good just to take your time here because there are a lot of enemies and they will wreck you. Thank you. I take the Titanite chunk. Hmm. Okay, that was pretty good. I, I felt good about that. I think this is a shortcut too. This opens up somewhere else though, I believe. Right? Now, I believe going up the stairs might be easier. I don't know. But maybe getting rid of this guy there that I could see him would be better for me as well. Wow, he's shooting pretty good. Those things, eh? They're creepy. I think I'm going to go up the stairs. Or up the ladder here. And go down this way. And you know what? I can put the hawk ring on. That's something I can put on for right now. Because we got it. Oh yeah. What a guy. Hey. Okay. I think I have better range than you, my friend. That is fantastic, actually. How about this guy? Wow, I am very strong with this. And this guy. Is he coming or not? I've never seen that move before on those guys. <laughs> oh, I thought. There is a drop down here for everything. I think it's catering time, guys. It's cat ring time because there's some cool items down there that I want to grab. The Grand Archives, eh, ladies and gentlemen? Isn't it cool? Titanite scale, yummy. And I think I want to get that too, and I think it's this way. Oh my gosh, isn't that amazing? The cat ring, guys. Very powerful ring. It's the Avalon. I think this time that I went through the bottom part of the uh, let's um, let's wax up again. This bottom part of the uh, the Grand Archives, it, it was just so much smoother and quiet, and I could actually enjoy the level uh, going through it for the first time. You know, collecting all the items and things like that. And uh, we, you know, I guess you know, I want, do want to mention too that sometimes we're going to make longer videos because the areas are just so much bigger and. Makes sense to, you know, go 
um, go a little longer just to finish an area, at least to a shortcut, right? So I hope you appreciate that, or if you don't mind that. But anyway, this was progression, guys, here, and we uh, kind of ranged them to death. Right, we have a guy here too. Alright, we have the wax on, so there's nothing really to worry about from those guys. Which is a great bonus, right? Like, I, lo I love doing that. And in here, for now, we're just going to leave this guy be. And there's uh, the last boreal, the bo last boreal uh, night, I guess. Right? And I'm not going to screw with him until I open up the shortcut. And then after, once you open up the shortcut, it doesn't really matter if you die or not. You just go back and keep trying, right? Plus, we could offload some of these uh, souls as well and all that, right? You know, here's another kind of drop-down area with a knight. And, uh, well, let's go open up the shortcut and maybe we'll take them on for fun. So here's one shortcut, right? We get the Scholar's Ring. I think that increases intelligence. We could uh, get some more wax on. Right, and there's still a whole top part there. I think I don't know if you could see the cage up there or not. Or maybe I'm looking too high. I can't really see the top workings, I don't think, right now. But there's top workings, guys. <laughs> right, and there's also... Yeah, there is a sleever. I, I hit this lever. I think there is a Fancy Pants one somewhere, but... I can't be certain. So guys, I, I think that's the, the bottom part of the Grand Archive. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think I missed any item. I think I got everything. Anyway, let's say that I did. But let's open up that shortcut for now. And we'll take on... Oh, Melitzis, isn't it a chop down for something? Yaha, a crystal lizard, guys. How could I have missed this wonderful thing? Um. Okay. All right, then. Where does it lead us? It led us to our demise. No, um, where can I go here? Oh, this is where we got that, uh, that item. Oh, I see. This is where the knight would have been. Which is a sneaky way, a uh, sneaky place to put it if you didn't take care of the knight, right? Naughty, naughty, naughty. So let's, I think we'll be able to use that shortcut that we just opened anyway. So we don't have to make our way up and around. You know, the, the archives kind of, when you open them up, they, you can really get around in them. Even though I kind of said the contrary earlier, but um, like I said, if you finish everything now with everything on the bottom part anyway, with everything without spawning, if you can, of course, you, you know, if there's, there's times where you can't because you, you die. Like I died a lot here. Uh, the first time through, but this time I, th I thought to myself, let's just do it methodically because I was just, you know, banging around the first time. So anyway, let's uh, start that over again. So I think I got everything <laughs> back at the bridge here. And let's open up the shortcut and we'll take on that knight and whether we die or not doesn't matter. And then we'll, um... oh no, it's over here. And then we'll continue with that upper part the next time. But we have to actually go down this elevator because it's um, there's another lever to open up a, a staircase, which is like a remnant. Oh, oh I didn't want to do that. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, which is kind of a remnant from Dark Souls One, where there was a shortcut that opened up a bookcase too, and that was in a in the in their archives version, which was the Duke's archives. So see, we're back at the beginning here again. Wait, the bonfire is just right around there. So that whole area I could just completely bypass because I did finish it right. It's okay. So let's um, let's take care of this knight if I can. Let's I, like I hope I, I hope I can anyway. Because I think now pretty much it looks like when I, when you're thinking about the levels, they give you a few titanite chunks, they give you upgrading materials, a couple of oh I did it again. Oh, that's okay. I could just homer bone. Uh, they give you a few titanite chunks, uh, a lot of uh, upgraded materials. They we got the crystal. We've got a bunch of, uh, what do you call it? 
oh, we got a, a scroll, which is very cool. See, this is just a drop down area that the knight's going to be at. We're going to have to contend with him anyway after, uh, maybe, or we'll just see if I can backstab him. Well, I got some gauntlets. That's pretty good. But wow, I really hammered him. I guess this at plus 10 would probably be pretty good. But I guess there's no... Oh, I see. There's an item here. And there's a... I think it's a drop down or it's just where you are. I think it's a drop down. We have to go get it. I don't know what else is here. A very cool vista. I don't know. This looks like a possible shortcut. It looks like possible death as well. So I'm not going to take it. <laughs> right. Okay. So I think that's the bottom. That's the bottom. Or the let's say the first third. Would it be the first third? I think that's the first third of the... Is that a... Is that enemy alive there? Did I leave a live enemy? Or did he just fall? Because that's going to be a problem. Let's make sure that he's dead. Just like they did in the medieval times. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's uh, let's homer. I want to show you guys how I'm gonna fix my character too a little bit, but we can go back to the shrine, right? Let's do it. Did I open up the shortcut? I did. I did. Otherwise, there'd be a lot of running and a lot of bashing around. That's what I forgot to do to go see if uh, Kareem's buddy was in his in his cell, right? But. Uh, that's okay. We, we could just do that another time. It's not a big deal. Let's see if we can level up. Welcome home, Ashens. Very well, then take. And this is another limitation, I guess, in a way, that I'm not. I'm just sort of leveling up one at a time kind of thing. You know, not a big deal. But uh, it's kind of cool. Farewell, Ashen. Okay, no problem. I, and uh, I was also thinking, too, of the prisoner's chain. Maybe we can give that a try, if possible. I think we can. But what does it do for us? So if I have this on. Well, it seems pretty strong. And it's kind of cool. All right. I'll give it a whirl. I'll give it a whirl. Uh, because I've always been uh, terrified of it. Anyway, yeah, so let's, um, what did we get now? We got a coal, so let's go to our sorcerer's guy, a sorcerer guy. And give him this marvelous coal, because he might, no, no, I think we have to buy everything from him for him to die. He's going to love this. Unfathomable. This is a crystal sorcery created by the pale dragon. Thought only to exist in I am ever grateful to you. This is truly sublime. I am afraid this is a debt I cannot repay. Only, I will be sure to unravel it for you. Just a moment. So he has a lot of sorceries that we're not, we we're not going to be able to use. <laughs> You'll have to look it up, guys, what the coals do. Um, I'm not really all that great with it. So he's sorcerer guy. And I think if you have to buy everything from him, and exhaust his dialogue, you get all the the sorcerer rings that you need and things like that. Come again. Right? Not a problem. Not a problem. Right? Uh, what? Let's see if we can reinforce our um, our weapon that we're using. We can. We can. We can actually bring it to plus 10. Yeah, we can bring it to plus 10. That's because I'm, I'm really enjoying that, that sword. And uh, okay, so how many, what else do we have that we could uh, update? I don't think anything really, because I only have two chunks, right? And also, where's the shield? 
Oh, I can give the shield more, but I'm not going to use the shield. Um, well, I could give it a slab. It doesn't really make a difference, but I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to keep it for now. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. No, thanks. <laughs> and Grey Rod, I think he's died. I think that we saw his stuff. <clears throat> I don't think we can upgrade our, uh, our... Yeah, I don't think we can upgrade our Pyromancy Flame anymore. So let's just buy some consumables. I think I think arrows are kind of looking that we need a few. Yeah, we can we can use a few. Okay, we could always use lightning as well. And like I said, all these these items and things like that, you can just PvP at the end of the game. That's what I did, really. You know, let's just let's just buy them all. Let's go nuts. Because lightning is our friend. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I, I've uh, really enjoyed that, this, this playthrough through the, the Grand Archives without that mage spraying stuff on us. It was quiet. And we could. And I, I kind of uh, like how I do it, where I kind of get rid of the enemies and uh, sort of methodically did it, do it. So they weren't always bashing me and killing me. So it was pretty pretty good, right? But we have the uh, Boreal Knight to do still. And, but we have the, the shortcut to take care of, so it should be okay. Um, I, I don't think we have too many too many things to kill on the way to, to go fight him. So we'll go fight him next, I guess, because then that would be that area complete. And then we'll make our way up uh, upstairs, up the stairs, and we'll see um, what kind of trouble we can get up to there. And... Uh, Oh my gosh, then we're getting up to uh, to the Twin Princes, which is uh, nearing the end of the game, guys, and it's feeling a little bit sad. <laughs> Kevin, you're looking very impressive. I like how you're maturing. I bow to you too, sir. We'll see you next time. I'm Vince Boto, guys. Thanks for watching this playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Bye. <laughs>